It was actually a pretty big deal. Uh, so Coach Mendenhall talks a lot about symbolism a lot and um, just getting that jersey, it, was, it should mean a lot to you considering, you know, we went eight or nine months, no numbers, no jerseys, and uh, just being one of the selected few, I guess only 60 guys got to even get a jersey. So it should mean something to you. It should be near and dear to your heart. And then, you know, when you play, you should play with, you know, the honor of, of having that and being able to be one of those guys. So, um, I mean, obviously you're always excited for the first game of the year, but um, I think we just want to, you know, show the fans how much hard, how much hard work has really gone into you know what we've been doing, and that you know we're trying to really flip the culture here, and uh, that's probably the biggest word, just culture, from you know the entrance to what we wear to how we play, most importantly how we play. So we're definitely trying to change the culture here, come out, play smart, tough, aggressive, and you know not really make a lot of mental mistakes or a lot of you know penalties, stuff like that that was holding us back in the past. So we just want to play a physical brand of football and change the culture and uh, get back to winning here in Charlottesville. I mean, every, every week's going to be tough in college football. Everyone's coming out, you know, to play their best football. Anything can happen on any given Saturday, a Saturday night, Saturday afternoon. So, I mean, we're going to take it game by game. You know, we got Richmond this week. They're going to come in. They're going to try to establish a run, try to play physical football. and. Uh, we're going to try to bring it back to him and uh, hopefully outlast him. Coach Mendenhall is, you know, well before skill, obviously a big deal. And uh, just, he wants us to just be very physical. Um, he'll, he can, we have certain calls that can, like, get people out of, um, to stop doing things to us. But at the same time, he wants you to, if we were going to play just straight base defense, we will. If that's all we get to, just play base defense. You beat the guy in front of you, you make a play. He's very big on, you know, beat the guy in front of you and make a play. But at the same time, you know, we have a lot of different exotic looks that, you know, if we come at you, you don't really know who's coming at you on, you know, on blitzes, things like that. But at the same time, like, he stresses just physicality and the culture. Uh, you know, the, uh, one time in camp, the coaches, they, they shared a video with us of BYU players and, you know, them talking about how lucky we are to play for Coach Menhall. And uh, they've really tried to bring that culture, you know, to UVA and us kind of feel like we're part of that brotherhood, that Coach Menhall brotherhood. So. Um, if if I had to say one thing about how we want to play defense, we just want to you know make those guys proud, those guys that have played for Coach Mendenhall and just carry on the tradition of Coach Mendenhall defense. High tempo, uh, no huddle. I think ever since I've been here, it's been a huddle type of offense, um, a true spread. Um, last year it was more of like a power offense. This is like a real spread. You know, um, in the past we was more so in the eye, sometimes in a shotgun, but I think. 90% of the time, maybe we're in a uh, shotgun this year. You know, going against our defense over the spring and um, over this fall camp, it's been like ups and downs. But when we're clicking, we're clicking, and we've really been clicking lately. So, you know, I feel like we got playmakers all over the field, from the receiver, tight end, the lineman, to our backfield, quarterback. I just feel like. Whoever we play, we're going to be really prepared. And we got a lot of guys that can make a lot of plays. I don't even know how to explain it. Um, it's just been a long time coming. You know, um, hard work really make you appreciate the game. So I really feel like as a team, we've been working hard. And I know how hard I've been pushing myself as well. So I'm just ready for my last go round and go out with a bang. That, that was uh, probably the one of the most special moments I've had at UVA. Uh, it's, it's unexplainable just finally coming together as a team and uh, being able to choose the the jersey or Coach Menhall calls it, uh, you know, the, the treasure that you're going to be uh, putting on your back for an entire season. Uh, it's pretty special and just, <clears throat> you know, not having numbers for, you know, I don't know how long it's been now. Um, going through practices, going through lifts. Everyone's wearing gray and black. Um, now we have an identity. And it's really special just to look around and see offense, defensive guys, special teams guys, um, uh, scout team. We call it the victory team. Um, guys finally have an identity. And it's really special to look around and see your brothers and finally have a smile on their face. And they earn something. Uh, it's really special. I think uh, this new offense looks explosive and very capable um, to score a lot of points. Um, 
Man, we look good when we when we got it together. Uh, this unit is really clicking, um, especially towards the latter end of the of our fall camp. Um, we really started to put it all together, and we play off each other's strengths. Um, we did a lot of situational things towards the end of the camp, and uh, we really answered the bell. So, yeah, I think this offense is fully capable of just r really. Um, playing at a very high level. I do know Kurt pretty well. Um, he, I, what I like about him as a, as a person is he's a hard worker and uh, he's always looking to do something extra. Um, and I, I heard Coach Menhall say this, and it is very cliche, but it's very true. He is quite literally a student of the game. He loves, loves watching film. He loves to see, you know, if, if he can one up someone in, in like a certain area, he will. He'll expose it. Um, you know, what I like about him as a player, um, he's very complete. I, I think that I think that he can make all the throws. I saw there was a comment from an Oklahoma um, offensive coordinator, I believe, who was his ex-coach at East Carolina. Uh, he's right. I've seen it. Uh, he, he can really throw the ball, and, you know, he's, he's mobile. He's smart. Uh, he can read the defense, and um, he's a very good communicator. So when him and I are out there talking, um, I'm making calls. He's correcting me. Um, he's making calls. I'm correcting him and vice versa. So uh, we work pretty well together, and uh, it's been fun getting better and kind of getting to know him and his uh, tendencies on the field. Um, and we've really polished up as a center quarterback relationship, so it's been it's been nice. The way we've trained in and out of the weight room, um, tempo runs, um, just it, it has put us in the best position to be successful um, in our offense. And like I said, we're going to play harder and longer than anyone that we go against, and I truly believe that. Um, and I believe in our training. And you know. Like I said, in the spring, yeah, it was tough. But with the transition from this spring into summer workouts, now we just looking, we're looking back on our past camp. Um, our our guys up front, um, we, we can move, and you know we're all six five and six four, six five ish, uh, three hundred pounds. But we can move. We're not slobs or anything like that. And we get we get guys out in space, and it's a lot of fun to see. Um, so. You know, we might have to get like you know we have we have five stars obviously, but you know we have a couple guys we can put in, plug in at any different spots. Uh, Jake Feeler, Stephen Moss, um, Mike Moody can go um, really anywhere, and Sean Carl is going to be there, and we have a lot of guys. We have a good amount of depth, a good amount of experience, and I think this transition has been seamless. Just to uh, pay homage to the past teams that have have come before us. Um, and to bring a, a winning tradition back to uh, Charlottesville and the University of Virginia, I think is very special. Um, obviously, the diamonds and the entrance, and um, you know the way we walk onto the field, it's going to be new. And you know, some people are going to like it, some people aren't going to like it. But um, you know, I think people will learn over time to really embrace the change. And you know, it's it's nothing but good things for this program and for this city. And uh, I think people are really gonna, you know, once we start getting two, three home games in, they're really gonna start to like the changes a lot. I mean, honestly, it's gonna be nice to line up in front of someone with a different colored jersey on and just let loose, you know? Uh, we've been practicing at a high tempo. You know, Coach Mendel, likes, he likes to play a physical, a tough defense. You know, at times it's hard to, we try to go, we try to get after in practice at times, but you know, you don't really wanna go too hard with your own teammate. You know, we need everyone to play this year, so. Having somebody else line up in front of us, it's gonna be it's gonna be a good time. I think the secondary right now where we're at, um, obviously you got Juan up here. You know that was a big move. He came in playing safety last year. I, I didn't think he really could do the cornerback spot to the spring. And then once we put him at corner, he like he looked like he played corner his whole life. You know, so I mean there's no worry there. And everyone else, I mean, the way we've just been practicing, I think that intensity level like. You know, we practice, we, we uh, Coach Millenall puts us in different situations, you know, to get us ready for a game situation. So everyone who's starting right here has had, we've pra we still are practicing now. And so I think secondary wise, I think we're, we're fun. He's got to, gotta, you have to like buy in with, with what's happening around here, you know. If you don't buy in, then you'll be left behind, you know. If you try to, like, you just have to go with it, you know. You can't try to force, like you can't try to fight what's hap what's happening now, or else you'll be left out. You'll be the oddball if you fight like the new change that's going on. So, just totally buying into the program, I think, helped me out a lot. And um, I've always been a physical, tough guy. 
So I just kind of brought that, and then the whole conditioning level definitely helped out, you know? So that just helped me propel myself up again.